Today in this video we will learn about how to secure your WHMCS. Securing WHMCS is an important part for a hosting provider. There are several security methods which can be used to harden your WHMCS. We will discuss all of those security methods in this video step by step. First of all, there are several steps which are mentioned in the official website of WHMCS. It is highly recommended to read all of them. The step 1 would be Go to file manager section and then create a new folder in home directory that is outside of public html. Now from inside of public html move these three folders and place them inside that folder that you have created just now. Once you have moved those three folders successfully, they will be visible inside your WHMCS data named folder. Now edit configuration.php file and mention the path of those three folders accurately. Make sure you replace our path with your exact path that is relevant to you. Now step 2 would be to secure your configuration.php file. For that go to configuration.php file and click on change permission. Now make sure that file permission should be 0400 or 400. Now step 3 would be to move the cron's directory outside of public html. Now again move this cron's directory inside WHMCS data folder that you have created earlier. Now edit configuration.php file and then mention the exact path of cron's folder. Now we just have to locate the custom directory that means we just have to locate the path of cron's folder in our configuration.php file. Now go to cron job section in cPanel and then click on edit and then locate the exact path of your cron. If the path is already correct then you can ignore this step. The step 4 would be to restrict all the IP address which are blacklisted or which you think suspicious. Step 5 would be to change your WHMCS admin path. This will help you to enable hard to guess admin path. Once you have renamed the admin path folder name, then go to configuration.php file and add this custom admin path code. Now step 6 would be to restrict the database privileges to limited privileges. Now go to MySQL database in cPanel and then click on add button in front of add user to database section. Now add only those privileges which are essential. You can ignore others by unticking them. Step 
Step 7 would be to enable SSL on your website. This will help you to encrypt your data. Step 8 would be to password protect the directory. That means you can password protect your admin panel's path. In this way, there will be dual passwords. One password would be the original one and the second password would be the locked admin directory which will be prompted to you in this manner which is shown in this screen right now.